So it's nighttime out here in the out here in the village, out on the street, and as we're down here, and here's the cows that come down here. This is Curly. Curly's. There's another one over here, and then you can see across the street. There's there's a bit of a herd is kind of all gathered there, and this is Curly. Curly is one of my favorites. Hi, Curly. Oh, sorry, are you? Oh, you're not Curly. Sorry, you're Curly's brother. He looks just like Curly, but that's not him. Let's see if we can find Curly. <laughs> Let's see if we can find Curly. Curly's not there. Curly likes to stay away from the rest of the crowd a little bit. <laughs> are, you, are you a nice one? Are you nice? You look like you're quite nice. Can I say hello? Can I say hello? A little scratchy. A little scratch on the head. A little scratch on the head. <laughs> a little scratch. And you. You like to be scratched on the head? You look a little bit nervous. Can I scratch your head? Hmm? Little scratch. Ooh, right there. How about right there? Little scratch. Little scratch on the head. Huh? <laughs> no, you're not so sure really, are you? Oh well. Okay. Anyway, nighttime here in the. <laughs> Sorry, still, still nighttime here in the village. Same thing. I was going to say hi. This is Toro. Toro is, Toro is quite nice, aren't you? Hmm. Hi, Toro. Hmm. Right. Give you a little scratch. You like being scratched, huh? You like being scratched. Hmm. Toro likes to be scratched a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, we'll leave you alone too. <laughs> How about you? Are you okay? Very nice. Oh. Scratch for you. You're very soft. So I was just headed down to the scooter here. This is that's my that's the scooter. Um, it's a great way to get around get around. And I just noticed across the street over there, I saw Curly. Like I said, Curly Curly likes to be uh, he likes to be all by himself. He kind of separates himself from the rest of the herd. Um, I don't quite know why, but uh, Curly's quite sweet. Curly was the one in the that was in the video that I sent you before. But we're gonna go over and go say hello to him again. He, uh, yeah, it's it's all a little bit different at night time. It's very quiet out here. A little bit like, like it was in Lama in the sense of, except even quieter really at night. Let's see. There's Curly. Let's see. Let's say hi. See if he says hello. See if he'll be nice. Curly. The reason I call him Curly is because he's got these, these funny little horns that kind of curl into his head. Hey, Curly. How are you doing? Hi, sweetheart. You okay? Hi. How come you're how come you're here all by yourself? <laughs> you're always by yourself, really, aren't you? <laughs> you're always by yourself. Scratchy, scratchy. You're a bit you're a bit filthy. <laughs> you're a little bit dirty. <laughs> you're right. Anyway, this is Curly. Curly's one of my Curly's one of my favorite. I usually try and bring him apples and stuff like that. <laughs> try and bring you some apples, but I don't have any apples today. I don't have any apples today. Anyway, I'm gonna go see some friends. See you later, Curly. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> so the cows, cows are all feral. They just wander through the village. They used to belong to uh, farmers years ago. And then I guess in the 60s, in the 1960s or so, they, um, in the 1960s, they just, as the farms dried up and as people didn't need the milk anymore, they just let them go and let them wander. And yeah, so they. So there's some around here, there's also some in Kasai Kung, but I think Lanta has the, the largest herds. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go down and go see some friends. They live down in uh, Puyo. It's uh, somebody's birthday tonight, so I'm just gonna pop down and go see, go see what's going on there. They've got a little place called Life Base, which is uh, kind of a nature retreat that a guy built. Anyway, see you later.
got back from that party, which was, yeah, it was quite fun. Life base is quite nice. I play, I think I've just showed you a little bit of, uh, a little video from the music that was playing there. Um, that was just as I walked in, those, those guys were, were playing. One of the guys playing drums, it was, it was his birthday. Um, so just got back into the Tongfuk village, parked the motorcycle and well, the scooter. And as I was coming, I thought I would just show you the cows hanging out in the middle of the road. <laughs> this is where they like to stay. They're all very pretty. They're all pretty friendly. Hey, all right. Hey, can I give you a little scratch? They're all, they're all very, very friendly. Hmm. Oh, we like that. You like that? Yeah. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. <laughs> you like? Hmm like that hmm. anyway like i say this is where they they like to hang out in the middle of the road it's a big bull we're not going to bother him <laughs> and yeah everybody knows that they kind of need to watch out for them so when the trucks when the trucks come along in the middle of the night like this one's coming they don't really slow down very much <laughs> Well, they do slow down a little bit. <laughs> anyway, everybody just goes around them. It's quite nice there. They're very cute, the cows. Anyway, time for bed now. I'm going to head up and talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, Mom. So, yeah, I was just uh, just getting ready to have some lunch. thought I'd send you a, put a little message onto this video. It's been, uh, it's been a, a rather hot day here. It's, it's crazy. It's about 98 degrees and, and raining, <laughs> but it's still pretty beautiful out in that way. You can see the, see the ocean in the back and little boats and, oh, oh dear, I'm starting to get rained on. <laughs> this is a, a table that I've just, just made out of recycled, oh, there you go. Just made this table out of, out of all recycled wood, just given it a, a coat of, of, uh, just given it a coat of oil. And then also this one, I just finished this one. It was a, uh, it's a, just a spice shelf, but quite cute. It's all, mostly all join, join bits, nice, nice old teak. And I've got some really pretty um, little hangers that'll, that will go on them, go on the back like that. Quite, quite nice, I add those on. So yeah, so I was just, I've made some, made some sun tea, uh, sitting out. Except, uh oh, it's during the rain, so I don't know how how much sun I'm going to get. Sun will actually probably be out pretty shortly. We keep getting these clouds that come over, and it rains really hard, and then it goes away. Um, got here, um, just made some gazpacho, and I'm just having some gazpacho for lunch. But anyway, I'm gonna have that. I'll add a little bit more into this message later on. Okay. Hey, mom. So it's um, kind of late tonight. It's about coming about about 10 o'clock I just thought I might go down to the beach for a little walk maybe maybe for a swim and uh, yeah just down in that field again I don't know if you can hear it but can you hear all the frogs all the frogs making all the noise in the background <laughs> this one this one sounds like a squeaky wheel There's a couple of them there. They sound they sound like a bit like a squeaky wheel. <laughs> that one, that one we hear. We hear that one going. Um, yeah, that one. That one's sort of a regular, regular sort of frog sound. But those other two, I thought they sounded quite funny. <laughs> yeah, it's all kind of quiet out here. Don't know where the cows have gone off to tonight. They're probably down in the at the next beach along. They they change around. I don't quite know what it is that. Uh, it makes them move, but often in the evenings they're they're down here. Usually, I, th I think it must be temperature. When it gets too hot, they go someplace, and when it gets too cold, they go someplace else. And when it's when it's a nice even temperature, that's when they're that's when they're here. But yeah, we've had lots all that rain that we had today. It's started to flood the field a little bit, and the frogs are frogs are loving it. You can hear them all making all the noises. All. Yeah. 
Anyway, I'll come back when I get down to the beach. Hi. Right. So uh, anyway, yeah. So I'm down here at the beach. I found a, I found a little light so that I don't come up looking like a thumbprint on the, on the video. It's uh, it's quite nice out here. Little little waves sort of lapping at the. Uh, lapping at the beach not too strong and on the, in the back here yeah, I think you can see all of the squid boats loads of I think it's squid season so there's there's just there's loads of squid boats out there we went, <laughs> I went fishing for squid once with uh, with some friends it was it's quite sad really because you, you go when you go go fishing for the squid and you yeah you, you basically you just have a bit of bait you don't even need a hook or anything and you just you, th you have this light shining and you throw it in the throw it in the water and the squid comes up and he just kind of grabs onto it and then you, you pull him up pull him up and you, you just throw him in your bucket and you just and they just they just keep doing it they just keep doing it um, sad part sometimes they'll actually they'll they'll get the bait and they'll try and try and eat it and then you gotta unhook it and they, and they, make, they make these really horrible little sounds they're like little little screaming sounds I, I almost couldn't eat squid again or I didn't eat squid for a long time after that but um but yeah they're they're easy to catch anyway <laughs> yeah so it's beautiful out here the it's not raining the sky is clear tonight is uh tonight is uh a full moon it's a super moon as well where is it there's there's the moon it's a it's a super moon so it's quite close it, it was actually at seven o'clock it was a oh oh my gosh that's an interesting bug look at him he's really cool you'll like him wait are we getting him where is he where is he oh there he is ah, can you see him <laughs> he's pretty he is really interesting oh wait there he is ah, he is interesting He's a, uh, I don't know, some sort of tiger beetle thing. Yeah. I don't know what he is. He looks like some sort of tiger beetle. He just just landed there. But anyway, yeah. So today was a was was a. It's a super moon, and on top of that, it was a, there was an eclipse. Um, the eclipse was about seven o'clock. Um, I I was I was driving, so I didn't get to see it. But, but Pete and Jim went down went down to go see it in some place. Ooh, oh my god, she's flying. Where's he going to? <laughs> oh, he's flown off. <laughs> I thought he was gonna... Oh, there he is. <laughs> I thought he was gonna... that bug was going to fly at me. The, um, uh, yeah, so Pete and Jim went to go see it. It was, uh, was uh, uh, an eclipse, and so the whole moon turned red. Uh, and also because it was a super moon, it looked close and um, a little bit cloudy, supposedly, but, but interesting. Anyway, I think I'm going to go for a walk along the beach and... My camera doesn't work so well there because it's quite dark, so there's no light. Um, I'll, uh, I'll come back and talk to you again later. See ya. Huh. Before I go for a walk, I thought I might get a better picture of this bug with a, with, a, with a better camera. He's pretty, isn't he? He's like some sort of... I don't know what he is. I'll have to look him up. I reckon he's some sort of tiger beetle or something downstairs I'll, I'll put a picture in but downstairs from my uh, from from the flat I saw there was a whole bunch of was a whole bunch of um, uh, they were scarlet beetles oh, here's another little beetle he's pretty normal in there <laughs> anyway there's a whole bunch of scarlet beetles I'll, I'll put a picture in there Oh, oh, that was quite refreshing. <laughs> it's a bit weird though. All of these these little fish were out there. It was, it was dark, I guess, full moon, and I guess the as the moon would reflect off me, they saw me, and they they kept running for me, and so they kept like would jump out, and they were jumping on my head. <laughs> so it, was, it was a little bit disconcerting. Um, anyway, I'm just walking walking back up the road now bit different during the night time but it's all pretty quiet out here yeah you can hear all the crickets in the background and the, the bugs are buzzing summertime noises anyway I'll, uh, I'll give you a little one more little message uh, before I send this off in the morning um, and yeah we'll have a little chat 
and I have my coffee in the morning. <laughs> anyway, good night, Mum. <laughs> morning, Mum. So, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful morning here. It's, uh, ooh, it's gonna be a hot one, though. <laughs> I reckon, but yeah, we got, uh, looking out, looking out to the sea over there, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite stunning. Nice and bright, little fluffy clouds. Bright blue skies. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can say though, it's gonna be pretty warm. If we look up at the mountains, there's uh, there's that mist mist up in the mountains and that cool cloud up there. And look up just up here. This is um, this is quite an amazing it's an amazing walk. I haven't I haven't done it. Gemma Gemma's done it. But it goes just up here, there's a little a little trail that goes right along the top of this ridge and then goes um, straight over to, to Sunset Peak, way over way over on the other side. <laughs> I would say, not once a month, but probably once every once every two months or so, there's a, there's a helicopter that has to go up and go rescue, has to go up and go rescue somebody because they've gotten, they've gotten themselves in trouble up there. It's supposedly one of Hong Kong's roughest hikes but uh but yeah anyway so yeah like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna edit this whole video together of a few different little scenes some from nighttime and from last night like at the beach and stuff um i hear that the first video i sent was i heard you liked it so yeah we'll get a chance and i'll try and keep sending you more as i get the chance to um Maybe they'll all be a maybe they'll be a little bit shorter from from the last one, um, but uh, but anyway, just just little ones, just saying hi, just kind of let you know how things are going and that everything is fine here. And yeah, nothing to worry about. Love you. Bye bye.